welcome back to another learning series with mr knight today's topic is transpiration transpiration can be defined as the process by which water is being evaporated from plants it can also be defined as the loss of water from the uppermost parts of the plant including the leaves and the flowers for you to truly understand transpiration you must also understand the properties of water for this lesson i am only going to focus on two properties the first is that water is cohesive what this means is that water molecules are able to attract to themselves a point to note is that a water molecule contains two elements the elements are hydrogen and oxygen there are three atoms two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen very important to note this is that the oxygen end is negative while the hydrogen end is positive the difference in the charges will result in an attraction this attraction create a bond known as hydrogen bond this is what is contributing to the cohesive property of water the other property is that water is adhesive what this means is that water molecules can attract to other substances the reason for this is that water is polar which means one end is positive and the other end is negative hence water can attract to other polar substances so in conclusion we can state that water is both cohesive and adhesive the cohesive and adhesive nature of water may result in a phenomenon called capillary action capillary action is that water can pass through narrow tubes when being sucked and create a stream so there is a continuous flow of water now this continuous flow of water by capillary action will make water available in the leaves of plants and also other parts of the plant now once water has been available water has been used for many functions and purposes so what is needed in the plant for one photosynthesis which is the food making process what is also needed to cool the plant what is also needed to maintain turgidity within the plant cells what is also needed for metabolic functions which are chemical reactions in the plant what is also needed to absorb and transport minerals from the soil throughout the entire plant now there's something that you need to note or at least understand is that for water to evaporate from plants water must pass through open stomata or otherwise called leaf pores however if the external conditions are not favorable then the stomata will be closed and retain water within the leaf so water could able to make available to carry out the functions of the plant even though the external conditions are not favorable now let's look at the factors that may affect the rate of transpiration now the factors that may affect the rate of transpiration can be grouped under two categories 
we have the external factors and also the structures of the plant itself let's look at the external factors first we have light intensity as the amount of light increases then the stomata become open or even wider hence a greater chance for water to be evaporated resulting in more water loss the other is wind speed as the speed of wind increases then it may lead to more diffusion hence more movement of water towards the outside of the plant resulting in more water loss the other is humidity humidity refers to the amount of water in the atmosphere as humidity increases there will be less diffusion of water towards the outside of the plant hence result in less water loss the other is temperature as temperature increases the kinetic energy of water increases hence result in more diffusion and also greater evaporation now let us look at the structures of the plant that may contribute to or even affect the rate of transpiration the first is the size of leaves bigger leaves create greater surface area which means more stomata resulting in greater loss of water the number of leaves more leaves equivalent to more stomata which means greater chance for water loss the number of stomata which means the number of leaf pores greater leaf pores which means greater water loss the thickness of the waxy cuticle waxy cuticle will reflect light and hence will reduce evaporation so therefore plants with thicker waxy cuticle under the same conditions will tend to lose less water let's look at the external factors in a graphical sense light intensity wind speed and temperature will affect the rate of transpiration in a similar way so as they increase the rate of transpiration will also increase to that maximum which we call a threshold and once these are at an i then that high rate of transpiration will be maintained however humidity is different as humidity increases the rate of transpiration will decrease so humidity and the rate of transpiration are inversely proportional and now we are at the end of the lesson and i am looking forward to see you in the next lesson see you soon